Most of the times, I think most men don't feel comfortable be expressing their vulnerability because they feel like that's too close to being gay. Mm, I, I want to take it a step further. Go ahead, go ahead. It's too close to being a woman. Mm, okay. Right? Okay. And okay. because women are perceived as not only just the... So it's not necessarily physically weaker. It's cognitively incapable. Okay, right? explain that. So in other words, there is a there is a... It's very, it's it's very, for a number of men, it's very cut and dry. Okay. Right. It's it's a it's a I can't think of the word right now, but it starts with by, right? Mm -hmm. But it's um, you're either emotional and cognitively inept, or you're cognitively you're cognitively competent but emotionally inept, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I've read threads where women have said, a man has told me that a man is either emotionally intelligent or cognitively intelligent. He can't be both at the same time. Yeah, that's what I said, too. It was like, I don't think I've ever had my emotional and cognitive intelligence insulted in the same sentence in a while, <laughs> right? It was, it was out of pocket. Mm. But there is this perception that emotions not just impact or inform, but they, they corrupt your ability to engage cognitively. So when men perceive other men who are emotional, they believe that that man does not have the capacity to make logical decisions. Scientifically, that's incorrect. Right, right, right. right. Emotional data is data. Right. Right. Emotional intelligence actually improves your overall IQ. Mm -hmm. Right. This is the reason why, once again, there there are a number of people who understand that the reason why women's frontal lobes develop quicker than men's frontal lobes is because they allow themselves or they are socially, they are socially uh, uh, given the space to explore that emotional intelligence. Right. So they literally are utilizing more information to work with. Right, right. Men are not given that same space in a lot of different ways because once again, it is the idea that It's wartime indoctrination. Mm. You cannot make effective decisions if you're if you're thinking. You cannot make effective wartime decisions if you're emotional. I give you an order and you march. There's no space for you to ask me why. Mm. But why is a critical component and why do I feel I know what I some men don't even know what they're feeling. I just feel tense. Mm-hmm. And because the only association I have with tension is anger, mm-hmm. then I feel angry. No, you don't. You're anxious. Right. No, you don't. You're hurt. Right. Right. But once again, that emotion, even in the sense of men who who are not able to manage their anger, they are looked at not as weak, but just as emotionally inept. Mm-hmm. Right. But men who verbalize their emotions, men who are able to expand on what it is that they are feeling emotionally, they are looked at as cognitively inept because of the way that it is that we frame women. Uh, Break that down. Couple of things. Number one, when we talk about traditional masculine ideologies, right? right, Traditional in the United States will always mean white. Right. One of the core, one of the core pillars of traditional masculine ideology is anti-femininity. Okay. Anti-femininity means to stay away from anything that is resembling of a woman, right? It Mm -hmm. goes back into the rigid gender roles or goes back into the rigidity of the presentation of gender, Mm -hmm. right? That rigidity means that if you have any portion of you that is feminine, it's not that, like, you have to remove it. It's almost seen as cancerous, right? right? Because if this grows in you, then you you will become an inept man. You will become a woman. Right. Mm. And the core of that growth is emotions. Mm. The core of that growth is emotional expression. Why? Because even since Grecian times, Roman times, the word hysterical, the root word is hyster. Hyster is also the root word to what? Hysterectomy. Mm. It is a condition of a woman to be emotional. So why do you, why are you expressing these? Why are you being hysterical? Why are you acting literally like a pussy? Mm. Mm. We got this holding. We're gonna pause. <laughs> <laughs> you do this to me every time, bro. Hey, listen, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I'm not gonna have you coming in here. 
and putting down all this information and not giving people a chance to process. <laughs> Some people gonna be driving, listening. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. gonna stop. Yeah. They gonna park the car. Like, right? hey, oh my god! Yeah, we don't need all that. <laughs> I don't need insurance claims. And and and, and, and you know, like, you oh just gotta give god, people a bro. chance to process what's being said right now because that history bar. Mm-hmm. That history bar. Yeah, that's also the reason why you ask. How does it? You ask how does it impact us uh, in? relationships, romantic relationships. Mm. That's the main reason why a number of men end up in relationships where their partner, they talk about men hating their girlfriends. We very rarely talk about their the girlfriends hating the men. Why? Mm. Because you consistently invalidate her emotional reality. But the reason why you consistently invalidate her re- emotional reality is because you've been trained to invalidate your own. Mm. So how can you have a whole relationship when you are not even acknowledging this whole person? 